Today we start off with a quick visit at the Best Friend Train Museum. It's a small free museum and it's part of the visitor center. There is a replica of the first steam railway engine and train in Charleston. Yes, it was the first commercially built American steam locomotive. I can appreciate that this information helps us all learn about a little known part of South Carolina history. We learn that the reason why the train is green and red is because it first appeared in Charleston with a public trip on Christmas Day. This was December 25th, 1830. So the next time I see a train in South Carolina, I know it all started off with a little train called the Best Friend. Next up is the Mace Museum of Natural History. This is another free gem in the city and it is located on the College of Charleston campus. Let me just groom your mane so you're looking your best. Now we can enter. At the Mace Brown Museum, you can see loads of fossils or dinosaur bones. You will be introduced to the mammals of North America and the Carolinas. Look at these people digging. Maybe we can find a fossil at the dig pit too. Yeah, that's possible. Give it a go, Loyal. Okay. You actually have to put your paws in the sand. You know that, right? No, no, no. I don't want to get my paws sandy. Oh, brother. Okay, let me try. Let me see what I can dig up. Look, I found a shark's tooth. How do you know that's a shark's tooth? I'm looking at the sign and this sheep resembles the shark teeth. Oh, I guess you're right. Can I have it? Nope, finders keepers. But we can keep walking and see what else is in this museum. All right, all right. Very cool. You can see the evolution of ocean life throughout the course of time. What is that big fossil in front of us? I don't know, but we can definitely read. It says it's a dunkleostesis, or the big dunk. It weighed four tons. Wow, that's twice more of a great shark. What a humongous fish. It says that its jaws exerted 80,000 PSI or pounds of force per square inch. In comparison, lions just have 650 PSI. Hey, I'm strong. Don't make me show you. Oh, ooh, no, I don't want that. <laughs> I'm just saying this big dunk is really, really strong and you're strong too, Loyal. Mm -hmm. This is a really well curated paleontology museum. Did you know that there are over a thousand fossils here? That's a lot of fossils. Yep, sure is. It's a small collection, but definitely worth it. It's worth it if you're in the area and you can also check out the College of Charleston campus while you're at it. If you just want an experience in the nice AC on a hot summer day, this is great too. Loyal finally convinced me that it was a good idea. Great idea. Okay, great idea to finally do one of those old-fashioned open-air horse carriage tours. I'm glad we did it because it was fantastic. The tour guides were highly knowledgeable and they point out the famous, infamous landmarks of Charleston. They also tell funny, fascinating, even tragic stories of the people who made Charleston the wonderful place that it is today. If you're traveling with a lion, as long as your lion agrees to not eat the horse, I recommend this experience. It can be a great first thing to do before exploring downtown. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.